I'll do this out you back at some Castle Clash game update week and I went out to my Taiwan accounts which I haven't been on in I don't know somewhere between five and eight months and they each had about 8,000 gems on them and so I rolled them ended up rolling about 80,000 gems you can see I did some pretty good rolls here some double perps love the double perps and especially when it's you know ones like Orcsbane and Dread Drake and Triantar, etc., etc., and you can see here that I ran. Oh, look at this! Another double perp here with Warlock in and more Tep Rock in the house, and I wasn't getting what I was wanting. I wanted that Ghoulum. I thought us eighty thousand gems. Come on! Oh, look at that Skull Knight. Oh, no dice yet, no dice yet. But then I got onto my last account here. Now what's awesome about this last account, this is my main USA account, just switched over for the Taiwan server. First roll was a Cupid you saw just a little few seconds ago. And I'm getting impatient, it's actually getting really, really late right now, and I work like a 14 hour day, so I'm getting tired. Normally I always wait for the sparkles to clear, but I'm just getting so impatient, I'm like, this is my last roll, and boom, I'm done. Wait a minute, look at that Ghoulum! My Tajio account on the Taiwan server, boys and girls. Let's go check it out. Roll the Ghoulum. There he is. Let's make sure I don't delete him now. <laughs> I don't speak this language, but there he is right there. There he is. And I actually got a Cupid too, so let's pull that sucker out. And I still have 1,500 gems, so let's maybe roll talents too. Maybe it's my lucky night, you know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm destined to be not lucky. Look at this, all level ones. I haven't even leveled anything on this. I got a sprint. That's gonna be the fastest ghoulum in the history of ghoulums. So that'll be an interesting one. I'm just gonna clear out everything that I can here. And this account isn't quite set up to um, do here be monster yet, so I can't really farm anything. But oh no, not Paladin Angel. Oh, look at that! Oh, perfect! Oh, that makes life easier. Look at that! How many hit points do you think this is? Oh my lord, is that 8,500 hit points at like level 20? 13,000 at level 40? That's like five times as much as others. Oh my gosh, I don't even have 10 fires. <laughs> oh, well, let's check him out, guys. Let's go look at him. Let's go into dungeon one. Looks like number two. See? I think I dirty up in one one. Come on guys. Let's just put him out here. Can he solo? Now if any solo if any hero can solo, it's gotta be this guy. Here it is. What's his proc look like? Oh wow. That is crazy looking. That is awesome. See, I like to call this guy my puppy, my little dirty puppy. The first thing I the first time I saw him moving, I'm like, this is my puppy right here. And you can see he's dealing the damage and bursting it and just, I mean, this guy is, this, this guy may be the best soloing here. Not, I mean, not that it's, not that you need to solo, but he's got super high survivability because of his ability, obviously. Um, how much damage is he doing? It doesn't feel very high to me, but, I mean, I can't, it's just kind of hard to tell, you know. So he's only doing like 70 damage to these guys. Well, he's only level 20, so this is really hard to tell. So this might be very interesting once I get a Pumpkin Duke Cupid Prox going. So there, I got 96, so that gets me a few more. Let's keep going here. And do I have a... I don't have magic. Wow, when's the last time? <laughs> ah, I don't even have the right level. <laughs> oh, funny. Oh, that's so funny. All right, here we go. Let's go dungeon, dungeon one, third one in, and let's just let's let um, let's just drop everyone. I'll kind of try to spread them out. So, well, kind of, kind of spread out. And there's a proc, druid proc, and celebrate. Hard to tell. It's hard to tell. It's a Obviously, I'm a little overpowered for the dungeon I'm in right now. So, let's see. This will be uh, nine fires. Okay. I think nine. Do I have that right? One of us nine. Yep. So, I just need a couple more fires here. Maybe I'll let these three get out first for a little while and then put this guy over here. There we go. Well, Pumpkin Duke's going to proc. 
celebrates off. Ghoulam's attacking and proc, so now he's doing, I don't know, 100, 100 per burst. I mean, everyone's staying completely full health because I got the Del I got I basically have the Trinity right here. I got Cupid, Pumpkin Duke, Druid. That's the Holy Trinity. Ghoulam's like, Ghoulam's like the Holy Trinity plus the little Snake Devil man. So he's the I don't know. We, we won't go with that reference. All I know is I got the fires I need, so I can now come in here and level these guys up. I'm gonna start with him because he's the most important to me, anyways. Um, actually, probably should have done Pumpkin Duke, but I should be able to do all everyone. No, I just don't have gold. Well, we're we're gonna go get gold. That's for sure. Um, I got gems here, so I can power level through dungeons here. I actually, want to keep going far to the right to the most experience. But let's just drop them all down here and see how it goes here. Everything's dying too fast, so I'm going to have to do a little PvP to really get a true sense of what's going on here. And, and plus I'm going to need gold, so that's the plan. How's it looking though? Look at that. That is amazing. It's just the coolest animation. I mean, in terms of ability graphic. That is way cooler than Vlad Dracula's. Way cooler. Yeah, what is this base attack rate? I mean, that feels a little, it feels pretty slow to me. I'll look at that real quick. What are we talking about here? 1,200, okay. It's already got 13,000 hit points. <laughs> oh my god. Look at the hit points. 13,000 hit points at level. Look at it compared to everyone else. Oh my lord, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That is awesome, though. I like it. All right, I'm gonna feed him some more. One, two, three, four, five, whatever. Whatever. Who else did I? Look at this, this is not a mistake. This is, this is, seven, you're looking at 17,000 hit points at level 40 with 790 attack. Uh, 1,200 attack speed, 180 movement speed. I also got the sprint on him, so. Wow, that is a lot of hit points, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just, let's have Ghoulam solo everything. Let's just, should we put him right here? Like right by all these wizards, mustache men? It's like, okay, so he's getting down a bar. How much does he heal? Okay, so he got above a bar. He's kind of hovering just one bar below. Now he's coming up, coming up, coming up. And you can see, is he doing a lot of damage? Is he gonna get owned over here? Am I gonna need to bring in some reinforcements here, like Druid? I don't know, I mean, I do have this restoration. We'll just see here. So again, he's not super high DPS, but look at this. Look at this. Well, let's just try Cupid over here. I'm just, I'm just curious here. What's Cupid gonna do? I mean, you can see that Cupid's just got such low health. You're gonna have to drop in Druid here to keep your Cupid up. And, and is this Ghoul? I mean, he just needs no help whatsoever. I mean, again. He doesn't have a lot of damage per second, but man, that is awesome. Oh, that graphic is insane. I like it a lot. I'm not gonna, okay, now we're finally getting to the heroes here. I don't know. I'm always I don't have Pumpkin Duke out here, so okay, Druid's dropping. We'll resto up. Druid would have dropped there if I didn't use magic, just for the record. But look at not Ghoulam, look at him. Dude's a beast! <laughs> he doesn't die. Hey guys, thanks for joining me in this first look on Ghoulam here. It's pretty awesome. Please, please, please do me one favor and subscribe. Join this dirty empire. Let's do this thing. Let's dirty up. As always, keep it dirty.